fucking Konami. And they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're dead. Dead meat, that's what I tell you. Now what? Okay, um... Hello everybody. We're here today with some Prince of Persia. For the Super Nintendo. We gotta do a casual commentary deal. In the Sultan's absence, the Grand Vizier Yafar rules with an iron fist of tyranny. And some bacon in between. Only one obstacle remains between Yafar and the throne. The Sultan's beautiful jungle. And there he is right now. An adventurer from a foreign land has won the prince's heart. Yes, he only needed the abs and... Uh, <laughs> on Yafar's orders, he is arrested and thrown into the Sultan's stomachs. And there we have him, the perpetrator of the century, the Jafar himself. What the fuck does he want? Nobody knows. And there's the princess. It's so sad. Listen to me, bitch. I've been trying to make you learn how to make sandwiches for a decade. Now, back the fuck off. I will trans... Okay, that was not the kitchen. Damn it. I fucked up. You will get the kitchen the next time. Yafar gives her a choice and two hours to decide. Marry him or die. Well, isn't that obvious what you should choose? Locked in her room, high in the palace tower, the princesses rests all hope on young. Little does she know that he's already a prisoner in Yafar's dungeons. I guess she could just, um, you know, guess that, because uh, he was taken away, and they probably said, oh, throw him into the dungeon, piece of shit, and then that's how it is. So we're playing Prince of Persia, we have two hours on us to rescue the princess, and uh, this game, holy fuck, it's like, take your time, or you will just die endlessly. All the time. I learned that the hard way. Now this is actually one of the best looking games on the Super Nintendo. In my opinion. It's very artistic. Maybe not this first level, but later on. Very artistic. Awesome sprites. The animation. All that shit. It's really spot on. And, and also there's like... 10,000 versions of this game. There's one on the Super Nintendo, and like DOS, Windows, and so forth. And they're all pretty much the same. But I think the SNES version, which we're playing right now, is the superior. Because you have uh, the most levels, the best quality in the music. I mean, just listen to the soundtrack right here. That's 16 bit goodness. And we're playing this uh, not on emulator, we're playing this on the real console. The same, um, actually it, it, the exact same cartridge, controller, system, everything is exactly the same as uh, when I grew up. So it's over 20 years old and it's still working fine. I know I've said that before in uh, other commentaries, but um, I like it. I mean. A lot of people who do videos on YouTube, especially on retro games, they just use the emulator. You know, it's more convenient, it's easier, and for the most part, you get better quality. So it's like a no brainer. Why shouldn't you use the emulator? I think it's uh, just a totally different feeling. So I didn't comment on that, but we got the sword. The sword of obedience. Now we will use it to tackle one of the guys who is guarding the exit, and we will give him a piece of our mind. And yes, maybe he will move away. Now I do hope this pr shit, shit, this uh, 
prince or whatever he is, adventurer, that he explains all of the shit that he went through in order to save her ass. Because there's no, no, no text, nothing. So when you save her, it's like, yeah, thanks. And they ride off into the sunset. whoop de doo And then every single second that passes in this game, you're always close to be dead. I mean, there are death traps everywhere. And also we're playing on the... shit, <laughs> I almost didn't jump there. And we're playing on the PAL version, since I live in Europe. And so it's slower. Look at this guy, he's King Gramps, he doesn't give any fucks! Told you so. But you never listen to me! Maybe we can open up the door. Just like that. And you can do this frog jump by holding down and like... It's what the fuck? Dude. But it's actually helpful in some situations, because, you know, you're ducking. Can you guys guess what kind of sound this is? Now the prince is just gonna stand there for two hours. So stupid! I'm gonna teach this guy the meaning of doggy food! Because he has never tasted it, so... There we go. Now, I'm extremely bad, at least in my opinion, when it comes to improvisation and um, also being funny. Oh, shit. But I think it's just fun to just let it out, say the first thing that pops up in your mind, and since English isn't your native language, or mine, the sentences that gets up in your head sometimes just doesn't make any sense. And... Uh, the fun thing about that is that when I re-listen to or listen to this commentary in like two years, it's like, what the fuck was I smoking? And also I improve my English by doing this, and this guy just doesn't give up. Yes, we handed his ass to him. Oh wait, we should actually go down here. There's something that we need. This thing! Mm-hmm. More health. There's so many games back in the 8-bit and 16-bit era that used three containers for health. I mean, Zelda, um, this game, and many other games that cloned Zelda by shit by using three health containers. This is so intense. It was like, back two years ago, I made a commentary on this game. Made like, seven parts, and then I just ended. Because I was so bad. I mean, what the fuck was I doing with my life? I guess I just played and had fun. Oh, already? Shit! And this second stage is so fucking huge. I mean, this is the second stage, right? You think that uh, the difficulty line or difficulty scaling would be even, but I mean these stages are extremely hard for new beginners. I mean, for all beginners, not yeah, for experienced beginners. There we go. Oh, he changed position in one frame. Isn't that sexy? And we can press uh, the Y button anytime we want to check on how much time we have left. RUN FOR IT, YOU PIECE OF SHIT! She's waiting for you, you're so inconsiderate. Now I hate these first stages, they're so boring, the music is okay, but you get tired of it. But just, just look at it, it's blue, blue, and even more blue. And this stage is... fuck. It's so long! Now I should actually go and get some more health containers, but nope! This game doesn't feature many checkpoints. And if you die, you have to redo all the shit, so I'm just gonna go... ...straight to where I need to go, for the most part. Okay, so this fucking gate... 
It really sucks. So run and jump. Run and jump. Oh, it's even further. Here we go. Oh, yeah. And here we have a checkpoint, I'm pretty sure. So many gates, and so many platforms. How are you supposed to cope with it? You can't. So you have a blue potion and a red potion. I didn't mean to... Fine. I didn't mean to take it, I was... Uh... Trying to do a sneak with the A button, but instead I used the A button to drink it. Stupid crimps. So this day has been extremely unproductive. I've basically just sat on my ass, played the, the Stanley Parable, which is an amazing game. Or is it really a game? That's up to debate. It's like a movie that you play with choices. I like it very much. It's uh, different and uh, unique. Um, dude, the fucking shit. That's what you get for being so careless, you piece of fuck. Fine. Let me show you. I can do this the real way. I'm just gonna stand over here and grab on. I just climbed up to see. No big deal! But yeah, this uh, day has been very unproductive. I thought I was going to do commentary, re work on my song, record some vocals, but for the most part, I mean, up until now, the only thing I've done is just been inside because. No, not again, you pee! <sighs> you, you pee! been shitting on my ass. And that's basically it. Do it like a man now. Yes, I thought, thought I was going to, you know, make stuff, work on my song, make some commentary and all that shit. Be productive, but new. I've been doing some stupid shit instead and talking with friends over the internet. That's so stupid. Okay, this time, Crims. Take it fucking slowly, here. Go up to the edge and just drop down. Okay. Already activated. Okay, this time, get it up! Yes, yes, fuck! Okay, that's the block button. I'm so stupid. You stupid! Yeah, make him go of the edge. Stop it. <laughs> what the? You want some more? Well, maybe I do. Why are you so fucking hard? This is the first stages. You see, that's uh, one thing I do like about retro games. They're hard even in the beginning because they do not uh, doubt your playability and your intelligence and all that shit. Alright, one more fight with the dick face. Get over it! Fine. And run! Oh, that makes me so scared. Every single time I do it. Now we can do the. Wait, there is a button for it. R, that's better. So instead of holding down on the D-pad and then, you know, pushing to the left at the same time, you can just hold R. And you do that frog jump shit. Or maybe not. Okay, so if you press R at the ledge, you climb down. That's so weird. Third stage done. Thank the fucking lord! No more of that music or a template. The good thing about recording this... Oh! Lazy, aren't you? Uh, the good thing about recording this is uh, that the passwords get uh, recorded as well. So I don't have to write down all the shit that I did back in the day. 
Maybe we're gonna do this whole game now in one session. We shall see. I'll just do as much as I feel like. Yeah! So this stage is a little bit more fun. It's like an Egyptian Persian theme. I don't know what the fuck this is. We got some good music. And the stages are getting more and more challenging. I gotta teach this guy something very important. What the fuck, man? Stop it! Go close to the edge. Now remind them. Stay there. Now there's a platform. Right there. So hold down. And okay, still get hit. There's a way to avoid that, but I do not remember how. And what's the bloody point of this? And my legs are glitching out. Look at that. It's like an invisible text. What the fuck is it? Oh my god. Did they even test this shit? Seems very buggy. Oh wait, now it stopped. Okay. Oh, that's even better. So now I get it. The point of that room or place is just to make sure that the door stays down all the time. Why do I still jump too early? <sighs> but we don't need that shit. That's for weak asses. And weak asses only. So we're gonna do it the real way. And this time I'm gonna make this make sure this guy gets his mail delivered pronto in the real way. So, dude, talk to me. Up, 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 up. Stop it! I never asked for that. Perfect. That's the way you kill him. Jump over the shit. And just run. And look at this sexy goddamn skill. Oh, yeah! And yup! Nice. Actually made it. Oh, this is even better. Yup! Nope, nope, nope. Okay, dude. I know you want it! I will show you the real way to use the mirrors. Or whatever those things are. Take a taste. Get in there! Okay, never mind. Oh! He still got hit. And I need to go past it again. I hate these things, they make me so nervous. It's like you have just enough frames to get through it. And it scared the shit out of me when I was <laughs> little. Oh. Stupid platforms. Okay, jump over! And yet another guy. How the fuck am I supposed to cope with this? Stop attacking so much! Okay, dude, I want you to live for whatever stupid reason. Get. Okay, I'm gonna kill him. Too bad. I want to place him down there and then he can't stay there forever. What the fuck is going on? No, I don't! Fuck! Okay, just place him on the door thingy. I mean, that's not possible. Not anymore, it isn't. Yes, regular potion shits. Do you really think I need that? Dude! This stage! My god! If it doesn't have any checkpoints, I will be so mad. And now people are typing to me. How nice. I'm not that forever alone. But uh, that's the thing I don't like be by being down here. I don't have any friends nearby. Well, I do, but I don't have any friends in this town. 
Look at that. Yeah. So we're gonna do this the cool way. Is by doing this. Release and hold. Release and hold. Yeah. Exactly. Is this stage over soon? Yes, it is. Thank the fuck. Get in there. And we're almost as far as I got them in my commentary series. Because back then I was so fucking stupid. I. Oh, well, this stage. Wow. The exit is right there. But uh, before, I made... I never made any sessions. So, I made a part... As I, mean, I recorded one part and then ended the recording. And blah blah blah. Fucking hell. I guess that's okay. Or no it isn't. I'm pretty much fucked. Kind of hard to say. We shall see. Okay, get this thing down. Get it down! It's totally fucking stupid. Okay, good. I did not get hurt from that. But yeah, I recorded one part, which was like 15 minutes. How do I? Okay, good. And then I edited the video, uploaded it, and I did that every day, which was so fucking stupid. Why not just record many parts? Well, I think it was like this. My goal was to... You almost got your head cut off, you stupid asshole. That my goal, or uh, what I wanted, was uh, some comments every day. So I could have some input! Like, for instance... Uh, when a game gave you choices, I wanted the viewers to comment and, uh, you know, control the story or the progression. But, uh, yeah, when you start out making commentary, it's a very high risk that you will not have any viewers at all. So I gave up, and uh, sooner or later, I, maybe later on, I began making sessions which was much smarter and more uh, convenient because that way you only had to sync once and you know all the files everything you can just do it once instead of oh, shit. thank you yeah instead of doing it every single day oh ho ho wow Sheet. <laughs> Stop shading, creams! I never sheet. Look at this place, it's so fucking nice. I'm so tired of you fucking phonies! You're so easy, look at this! No combat whatsoever. Now this platform. This fucking platform. Turn around. Go over here and look at this shit. There's a mirror. What can we do with the mirror? So many mirrors. Okay, stop the jumping. Get up here. And let everybody know what kind of a dick you are. Okay. Run past the shit. And we open up the end. That was close. Now we have a fu- Just look at this! Who, who installed that? Blank. Now do we really need to? Do we? Do we have to go through it? I will! Oh my good. He's on his way. Now he, he didn't just copy my moves. He actually moved on his own there. And he is now chasing us. I don't think he is actually- Oh wait, don't fall for this shit. I fell down there before and I had to redo the whole stage. Rage comics every day. Hold down the sneak button. You will thank yourself. And that's that stage. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Still not done with these stages. Oh, wait, there's uh, three for each uh, template, I think. And this one isn't very hard. Wait, there is actually one part here that's uh, really precise. Yeah, it's coming up right here. Oh, I hate it so much. Is that... Oh, shit, I need to go through. Yeah, yeah. Turn around, climb up, and look at this... This... This fucking bullshit! Look at that guy! He's like, hello, crimps! Oh, oh my god, I actually did it on the first try. And now he's uh, down there. Now let's see, I think you're supposed to go left first and open up the gate? What is the bloody point of this room? There is no point, right? It's a potion. Or maybe a secret chamber? But we will never know, so let's run. And now we open up something. Another one of these guys. I'm getting so sick and tired of this. Look at that. He just gives up on life. Oh. Right. I can put this together. Now hurry the fuck up. Oh ho, Crimson! Get through it! Good. Oh, one of the first uh, major shits is coming up here. Oh, really now? Fine. Take your sweet time here, Crims. And then don't just fail. There's your spikes. You sneak past them. No worries. Now look at this. This is so fucking epic! We're gonna need some more game audio for this. Get up there. Alright. Fuck you! What? Who are you trying to be? Do you really think you can beat me? I'm an expert at this game. I can beat you far. Oh, wait. This is the first time we get those uh, duels. Yeah. Come on, man. Or girl. Put up a fight, you will ya? Oh shit. Block it! <laughs> so easy. And that's the way. It's as simple as that. I like this arena. This is what I talked about before. The. Just look at this. It's. Oh. SNES at its best. Finally, that shit is over. No, don't die, please. Okay, good. And now we're done with the template of the boring ass orange, red, brownish, brownish part of the game. And this girl is just. No, I think our time is looking pretty good. Right? How much time do we have? Oh, the music. 100 minutes. Okay, so we're moving along nice. I don't know how much I will do. I'm just gonna speed run through this shit. No, I'm just gonna have a little bit of fun. Oh wait, this place you can just do this. And jump it! Just listen to the music, man! It's so fucking good! Very nice. Now let's turn down the volume again. Run over. Nothing. Right. Okay, I don't think we want to. Oh, never mind. The platform went down either way. Jump through it. Good. Okay, long jump. Now, this took me some uh, time to figure out as a child, but you need to climb down here. And it's like, what the fuck? And then we're gonna fight the first blue guy! He's so difficult, look at him! 
And right now we don't want him to fall down there. It's pretty damn annoying. Because he can one hit kill you if you don't have your sword up. Which doesn't make much sense. Get over here, man. Please. Alright, so we did some commentary either way, but this is not... I don't know what kind of commentary... Fucking hell, man! Some... Ca yeah, this is just casual commentary. So I don't know if this will be up on my commentary channel or not. Probably! Because this is like... This is uh, pretty much like a Let's Play. My normal series, so... Might as well just put it up as one big part. And you be okay. So I think I'm gonna end it off this uh, stage, because I'm getting very tired now. Because I was tired before starting this, and now I'm even more tired. Oh fuck, this place coming up right here, look at this. Look at that, you can see his health down there. Don't think you can fool me! Okay, quickly as fuck, go under. Turn around, climb up. What kind of a douche do you have to be? GET OVER HERE! You see, it's just cheating all the way. I can't take anything less more of this game. I don't know. Now we should just go to left. I mean right. But uh, let's see what's up here first. Oh, you see the ice symbol right here. Something we need. Oh yeah. And there we have it. And with that the stage should be over pretty damn soon. Now, do we need to go over here? I don't remember what you do. What the fuck? Why would you do that for four potions? When the stage is almost over and you get all your health back in between stages. Doesn't make much sense, but doesn't have to. Jump over there. Now run, jump quickly. No more. I said no more! I'm fucking tired of this crap! You could just push him up to the wall and just leave him here and go up, but... I'm gonna teach this guy the meaning of disturbing the crimps. And it's as simple as that. So I will thank you all very much for watching this first part of this random series. And there's the code. I will have to remember that or just look it up. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Please leave a comment and feedback and all that. I read all of them. Thank you.